We have already completed our combinational circuits. Now I will upload series of presentations involving different problems in combinational circuits. I will do the same for our sequential circuits also when we are done with it. And this is very helpful for you to understand the course and also revise the different topics that you have studied. I will take different examples from the competitive exams and all the examples are very good. It will cover a very vast topics and it will help you to understand key concepts and also the implementation of the theory that you have already learnt. Now before actually going to the question number one I will explain you few things about this series of presentations every part like this one this is the part one for the practice problems on combinational circuits will have two problems okay and each problem is selected very carefully so that you are having a greater understanding of different topics so let's move to our question number one in this you can see a circuit on the right hand side of your screen and we have to find out what is the value of s the boolean expression for s and then we have to check from our options that which one is not s so what will be our steps to solve this problem you can see there is a 4 is to 1 marks so the first thing that we have to do is to do the analysis of this multiplexer and I will say this is the output of my multiplexer and its name is y so our first step is to find out the value of y then we can simply find out the value for your s so let's do it you can see that the selector variables are a b if this is s0 s1 and uh, the selector variable plays a very important role in the determination of the output so we will make the truth table s1 s0 are the two selector variables for 4 cross 1 max and s1 in this case is a and s0 is in this case is b the output is y now four combinations let me write it down quickly now your y is simply i0 i1 i2 i3 you know how the multiplexer works when it is 0 0 the i0 will be linked to your output 0 1 i1 is linked 1 0 i2 is linked and 1 1 i3 is linked now we have to find out the boolean expression for y so y is equal to a complement b complement i0 from the first combination or a complement b i1 from the second combination or a b complement i2 a b i3 now you can see from the problem that the values of i0 i1 i2 and i3 is already been mentioned i0 and i3 are 0 and i1 and i2 are having the value equal to 1 so i will replace them i0 is now 0 i1 is 1 i2 is also 1 and i3 is 0 so y is equal to a complement b or a b complement as it is 0 and the end operation with 0 gives us 0 that's why i have neglected the first and the last min term similarly the end operation with 1 gives us the same entity therefore i am having a complement b or a b complement now if you remember from the logic gates the a complement b or a b complement is equal to a xor b simply so this is the value of y and now we can find out the value of s so s is y x nor 1 and I can open it like y complement one complement or y and one now you can see that one complement gives us zero and the end operation with zero is zero so zero or y and it is equal to y so this s is equal to y and y is a x or b so s is simply a x or b or i can write it as a complement b or b complement a so this is what we have to find out in this problem now the important thing comes in which we have to check for our answer from this different options 
now if i talk about the x or combination then it is a odd ones detector so if i say this is my min term m0 m1 m2 m3 and y is equal to s that's why 0 1 1 0 is the value for our s and if i write s in terms of min term then it comes as summation m this is m1 m2 so 1 2 and if i write it in terms of max term then pi 0 3 i will write min terms for which s is 0 that's why m0 m3 is here so this is what we have in terms of min term and max term so the option a is definitely representing our s option b is also representing our s xor gate with a b as input and option c is also representing our s that's why a b c are correct then definitely d is wrong and also you can see that a complement b complement or a b is equal to a x nor b which is definitely not equal to our s so d is the answer of this question and it is all you have to do in this problem now let's move to our example number two and in this also there is a mux involved and this time it is 8 is to 1 mux and you have to find out the function x here this is x and definitely the function x is having the variables a b c d the three selector variables and d as the input now you have to find out the value of x that you can do very easily when there are three selector variables we are having eight possible combinations so let's make them quickly zero one zero one zero one zero one okay and the output is x so the input is simply i zero i one i two i three i4 i5 i6 and i7 now we have to find out the boolean expression for x so x is equal to a complement b complement c complement i0 i will write it down very quickly you can also do it by yourself a complement b c complement i2 a complement b c i3 a b complement c complement i4 a b complement c i5 a b c complement i6 a b c i7 now the only thing that we need to do is to put the values of i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 from the question like we did in the last problem so i0 is 0 you can see from here you can see it is 0 so this will be 0 i1 you can see is equal to d so I am having a complement b complement c d and i2 is also equal to 0 so this will be 0 i3 is 0 i4 is 1 you can see i4 is 1 so I will write it a sorry this is a b complement c complement or i5 is d complement so a b complement c d complement or i6 is 0 and i7 is 0 so the last two min terms are also 0 now let's see what we got we got a complement b complement c d a b complement c complement a b complement c d complement so if I am having four variables then there are 16 possibilities and we have to write down the min terms and max terms depending upon that four variables so let's try to find it out without writing the truth table let's see how to do it a complement means 0 b complement means 0 c is 1 d is 1 and what number is this 0 0 1 1 it is 3 of course so if I write in terms of min terms I'm having 3 
ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दिस इज मिनिमल फॉर्म ऑफ द मिन टर्म सो वी हैव टू मेक इट कैनोनिकल डी इज नॉट प्रेजेंट सो डेफिनेटली इट वॉज लाइक ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड डी और डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट दैट्स वाई डी बिकेम वन सो आई कैन ओपन इट एंड आई एम हैविंग ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डी और ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डी कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी एक्सपेंडेड इट एंड मेक इट कैनिकल राइटिंग इट इन द फॉर्म दैट वी गॉट फ्रॉम द टू टेबल सो आई एम हैविंग ए बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट सी कॉम्प्लीमेंट डी इट मीन्स वन जीरो जीरो वन एंड दिस इज वॉट एट प्लस वन इज नाइन सो नाइन इज ऑल्सो माई मिन टर्म and a b complement c complement d it means 1 0 0 it means 8 and a b complement c d complement it means 1 0 1 0 this is definitely 8 plus 2 my 10 so in terms of main terms i'm having 3 9 8 10 so definitely option a is correct 3 9 8 10 and when there is 3 9 8 10 the remaining thing it means 0 1 2 4 5 6 7 11 12 13 Fifteen is my max term, so option C is correct because you can see in this ten is involved and ten is my main term, so it can't be my max term. So option A and C is the correct answer for this problem. I hope you got it. So please feel free to comment your views about this initiative that I have taken to let you practice the different problems involved in the topic, so that you are having a better grip on this subject. After all I want you to score maximum in the digital electronics so please feel free to post the feedback this is all for this presentation see you in the next one